There's a fish. Nice one. Giant. That's a big fish. Oh, she keeps jumping. Stop jumping, girl. That's our giant. We are on the way to the river. Hopefully we can get on some giants today. We're gonna start off at our favorite spot. You guys know it all too well. See what we can catch. And then we're gonna run up the river and hit up some different spots. Hopefully we can put together a good bag today and catch some big ones. We'll catch you guys on the river. Red. Mm, there's a fish. I don't think so. Yeah, it's decent. Slide on them. Oh man. Day number two, searching for river giants. Thank you for the bite, buddy. Go on, get back out there. Look out like a rock. I'm gonna throw Mr. Whopper Plopper around for a bit. That'd be okay with you? I am so sorry. I just f***ed your bait caster up probably for the rest of the day. Yep. This is what happens when you let Ray use your bait caster. I've never seen something so bad. I really haven't. Um, so can I tell you what happened before you started? You hit this tree. I did. You don't, you don't look at your surroundings. I did though. That's done. Oh, she casted it into the tree behind her. That's on the ground. Walk right over here. We got a runner. Uh oh, uh oh. About to get a fish. He was running with it. Probably should have set the hook. Uh oh, uh oh. Nice one. Oh, very nice one. Let's get the hook. Yeah, that's a big fish. Oh, she keeps jumping. Stop jumping, girl. Stay down. Stay down. She's trying to come back up. I might need you to grab her. Oh, she's huge. What I was looking for. She fought really good. 2.68. What a beauty. So we got this girl in the tongue a little bit. So um, I'm gonna get her right back in. But she was uh, over two and a half pounds. Nice fish that's super ready. All right, girl. I ain't gonna keep you. I just wanted to hang out for a bit. They Ooh. bleed a little bit when you put there it she goes. in the tongue. Uh oh Good one. Ah, oh, it's got me in something. Come on, girl. Stay down. Stay down. Ooh. Oh, that's a good one. Don't get me snagged up now. This might be a BB, Maddie. I'm not kidding. Nah, but it's a good one. You got her? We gotta get a weight on this. This might be our giant we were after. Yeah, that's a yes, finally did I get my first three. 
pound smallie of the year. I think I did. Courtesy of our buddy, he makes these baits and he scents them. We're gonna leave his uh, info in the description. Nice scent on them. What a tank. Yes. Three and a half. 3.28. 3.28. That's our giant. That's our giant today. Yes. Over 20 inches long, we caught our giant smallie. Took a lot of grinding, but we finally got our big girl. We're gonna get her right back in because we do not want to keep her out longer than a single minute. Thank you so much. This just made me so happy. It's an incredible fish. Yes, it is. Big girl. She did not want my What a beauty. She wanted no part of me. Yeah, she didn't want no part of me either. Thank you for uh, for grabbing her for me. I'm sorry oh. you had to get bit like that. That's all good. It was worth it. Go ahead and retie because uh, the knot was a little loose after that catch. And if we hook into something else like that, we do not want to lose knot. So it's worth taking the extra, an extra few minutes just to retie. That was such a good fish. Straight pig. See if I can get one three casts in a row. I'm so sorry. Something in my heart told me. Put it down. You are not meant to use a bait caster. That isn't a DC. Oh, there's a bite. Giant. Oh no, stay on, baby. Stay on. Getting wrapped up around stuff. They're bad about that. I don't know if it's our last fish. But it's a nice one. I'm trying to keep up with him, he's running toward me. Uh uh, stay down, baby. <sighs> That's a nice one. Yeah, it is. Definitely not uh, the giant the last one was, but a nice one. Did he eat my worm? Yeah, it must have flung it off. There you go. <laughs> Haters gonna hate. Yeah. Y'all, look at this. That is a beauty. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little jealous right now because. Of wanting her bait cast. Yeah, I've been like trying to fix that. Oh, and then bit me. she's like, here's another one. She bit me for you. Look at this beauty though, guys. He's got like a little weird spot on his nose. Not sure what that's about. But anyways, beautiful, beautiful fish. Not the giant the last one was, but it's still a very quality fish. Thank you, sweetheart. This is fun, but I did ruin Maddie's other, other rod. I gotta get better with the bait caster, guys. Which in all honesty, I was going to like give it my full force and cast it and I smacked into a tree behind me and that did this. So I'm gonna work with this for a little bit and see if I can, um, I'm gonna fix your bait caster, don't worry. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to do much. We are gonna run home and grab another bass rod since I roint Maddie's and we're gonna go further up river and try some new spots. So run home, get the pole, catch you up river. open the door all the way. Got extra poles. Across the street. This is gonna be the fun part. Straight down. We got this. Um, definitely can't cross the guard though. All right, so we get to go down that straight down cliff. We'll catch you guys when we get down there. Hopefully we make it. These gentlemen in this boat just told us that the bass were jumping up here. So Maddie is putting on a whopper plopper. See if any giants live around here. He said he caught a 20 incher today. What? You're gonna bite. Got him. Oh, I let go. 
<laughs> That's okay. I wasn't paying attention. Well, we had a bite, but missed the fish. Oh, one big one jumped over there near the bridge. I can't believe I missed that fish. That was another giant. I, I could tell. He took off with your bait. Another one jumped up over there. Up. Oh, yeah, I told you that the middle is a little bit more shallow for some reason. See how the, it forms that island. Now that I got that bite, I'm finding myself cast it in the same spot over and over. second spot hoping to find a giant but unfortunately it did not go as planned so you know what that means part three well oh, another day to part oh. two <laughs> another day to part two yeah we get to come out again so we got them um, I caught my giant I'd like to get some more but we got to get this one right here on another giant and I know she can do it a people's champ and a muskie and a muskie we need a muskie one of these days, one of these videos, it's gonna have a musky catch in it. So y'all just stay tuned and subscribe so you don't miss it when that happens. But anyways, we're out of here. We gotta hike back up this hill. Catch you guys tomorrow. Day number two. And this will be our third spot. It's been overcast all day, but now that we're out here, the sun is shining bright. So see how it goes. All right, we're gonna try here for a little while, and then we're gonna move up that way, up river some. So see how it goes here. And on this pole, I'm rocking with this little flashy swim bait type of deal on my spinning combo I got um, I don't think I have anything on it, but I got it ready for like a Texas rig. Got a hook and sinker on it. We're gonna start off with the uh, June bug stink bait, AKA stick bait. Stink bait, cause it smells like pizza. Oh, I see a big one. I see a big fish. It just swam past. It looks like a large mouth. It looks like a three pound fish. I lost sight of her though. She was swimming this way. That water's pretty clear, so I'm gonna put on something that looks a little bit more natural now that the sun is out. Just this tension song. All right, let's see what this does. Hopefully uh, we can get them on a moving bait, bite today, but I don't know, it was overcast when I rigged this up, but now it's bright and sunny, so I don't know if this is gonna be the move. Yeah, it does. So we'll get kind of slow and give it some weird twitches. There's a lot of rocks and stuff right here. Sand and rocks. So um, I'm probably going to try a crawl dad type of bait too. Nothing. Yeah, just as I suspected. I don't think these sunny conditions is going to be too good for this. As that sun starts to set, this might be a better bait. But right now, let's put something on our Texas rig. I'm gonna go with this little red black flake crawl. Hopefully this hook isn't too big. Boom. Let's see what this guy looks like in the water. Yeah, I think gentle pops is gonna be the move. He floats really nicely. Snagged. Caught someone else's line. That's lovely. Let's see if we can pull some of that out of the water. Oh, it's over there. They cast it in the tree. I 
I got something. A bark fish. Yeah. Do you see that turtle? I don't know what it was. That's where that large mouth was swimming to. Are you about to catch it? I got a bite. That's that large mouth. I think it's just a small mouth, a little guy. Come here, baby. Hey, he's a nice one. He wanted that crawl. Choke that crawl. We're gonna have to do a little bit of surgery. You're okay, buddy. It's in his tongue. We're gonna get the pliers and pull that right out of him. All right. It's a catfish. Look at that. That was a gar. A gar? Yep. That's exactly what that is. So that's what we saw. I told you I feel like that was a different fish. That was a good size gar too. I feel like that's probably what's been messing with my bait is the gar. Like they'll pull like a little bit and then they just, so we're gonna move on. I've seen some gar, but I think that's what's running the show around here right now. We'll have to come back out another day and fish for those. I think that would be a lot of fun. Never landed one. Came very close quite a few times, but never actually landed one. So we're gonna move on, and go to the next spot. Everything is growing up so quick. Yeah. All the trees and weeds and everything that houses, snakes and creepy things. This is our path, guys. It's all overgrown. Into the forest we go. It's like a jungle and it's all dark because the trees are all overgrown. It even sounds like the jungle, except the traffic. This weed's taller than you are. All right. We're here. Now we gotta go through here. So now we get to go this way through this little jungle. Get out here on this little island and set up shop. We need to come catfish in here. Since it's still really bright and sunny, I'm gonna stick with the crawl they have from now, but we got our little swim bait dude hanging out on the other pole waiting on us. Make sure my drag is good. We're all good. Pay attention to where Maddie's casting, and of course the wind blew my line right into all this. Can I get in the water? Yeah. Ah, it feels so good. They're jumping over here and they're like this big little minnows. I'm about to take my shoes off. Do it, it's worth it. Feels good. Would you swim under that for a hundred bucks? What would it take? It's just a big old flathead under there, you know it. I got my pants rolled up and kicked my socks off so I can uh, get on out here. So many minnows out here. Oh, it's cold. It's cold. Looks like it gets shallow again. Not gonna lie, I miss this so much. Little minnows popping everywhere. This is crazy. I miss river waiting. All right, we got us a worm on. We'll see if we can make something happen now. I don't want to hit up where all these rocks are. Big boulders. I just I always have my best luck in places like that. Rocks like that are gold when it comes to these river smallmouth. It's so hard to see with that sun glaring right into my face. Oh, that's a bite. He's not that big, but he's a fish. <laughs> he's feeling drag. Come here, buddy. Right. Look at that. Little pork chop. Pretty little fish. All right, let's unhook him and get him right back in. Our first river waiting fish of the year. Cute little fatty. Not the giant we were after, but still such a fun little catch. Yes. 
caught one on the crawdad, caught one on the dinger. Now let's see if we can get one on the brush hog. This is like sort of like the best of both worlds. All right, got the brush hog on now. Let's see. Oh, a little minnow jumped. It scared me. Not that I'm scared of a minnow, but just so abrupt. Pop out scare. Huh. Sorry. <laughs> Put my bait exactly where Maddie is. <laughs> my bad. Well, let's see if the, who's they want. Pick mine. Just so many little fish today. I got a bite, but it was little. Yep, he's biting. Stay on. I can't keep up with him. He's running toward me. Little guy. Little tiny. Y'all. These are not the giants we're after, but this is a lot of fun. All right. And that's gonna be odd, because it's on the bottom. Can't lip him to get it out. All right. Let's just bring him over here and get the pliers, because I don't want to get hooked. This little guy threw up a crawl, Dad. So we're just gonna give it right back to him. Ew. There it goes, down this little whatever. All right, buddy, thank you. <laughs> it's a little too shallow right here for him. All right, there he goes. We fished until the sun went down. Although the fishing itself humbled us. <sighs> Missed him. That was a good one too. This is what happens when you let Ray use your bait caster. Here we go, home now. We had so much fun and that is what it's really all about. 3.28! That's our giant. That's our giant today. Yes. We hope you enjoyed this mini series. Remember, fishing is for everyone. So get out there, make memories, and have a few laughs along the way. <laughs> Did it go through the tree? <laughs> and as always, we'll catch you on the next adventure. All right, guys. We're out of here. Ooh.